Howdy, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Technoferma. So this time, I'm thinking that we'll probably finish up the house a little bit and hopefully get some of this copper we have smelted down into ingots so we can get some tools going. So first of all, let's make a knife. Oh, we've got a knife. All right, let's run around and collect grass. We're gonna use this to make a block called thatch and we're gonna make a cheap little roof for our house with thatch because it, sorry about the lag right there, um, because it doesn't really cost me anything. Like you can see, I'm making a roof out of grass and it doesn't, um, doesn't follow gravity, so we can do that. So it looks like we should have enough thatch to get a basic roof going. Go ahead and craft it just like this, and that'll give us just a little bit over a stack to work with. I think this should probably work fine. Um, so we're not going to go anything fancy with this roof because we're a little low on resources. we ran out. Hello again everyone. We had a short cut there due to some technical difficulties, but as you can see I have finished a bit of the roof. Not everything, um, but that's alright. So we're gonna quickly go ahead and make just a few more torches so I can go out here and collect some grass. Because I want to go ahead and finish this roof tonight. Uh, ooh, that's not good. Um, we're gonna pretend. Alright, never mind. We're going back inside. <laughs> No, it's not going to work today. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and just cover that up and pretend like um, nobody exists out there and we're not going to die horrible deaths. That's what we're pretending. So I'm going to sit here in the corner and I'm going to eat my cherries and I think I will see you guys tomorrow. Actually, it looks like we have quite a bit to do tonight. So instead of cutting to tomorrow, I'm gonna go ahead and craft some stuff. So I'll show you guys the first little bit of metalworking. What we wanna do is take our clay, right click it, and draw this pattern. So this is gonna give us a clay vessel. These things are pretty cool. Um, you can store items in them once they're fired, four items, and they're gonna be how we're gonna melt down all our metal. So we're gonna make a clay vessel, we're going to make a pickaxe mold, and then we're going to make a saw mold. Let's see, there we go. Cool, so we'll store all these in this hole like this, you know, just for the lulls. And then what's the last thing we could use? Probably a water jug. There we go. Cool. So we've got our water jug, we've got all that. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and take some of this thatch we used to make the roof because I don't have any other straw on me. And we're gonna break it down. You know, we're gonna get funky in here. And then we're going to just right click this into the hole. Bam, done. Do the same with our logs, and now I should be able to, oh, well, I probably shouldn't have done that. There we go. Drop a torch on it. There we go. Look at all those delicious sparks coming off of it, and that should start a fire. So we're going to go ahead and move back this uh, thatch, because I'm afraid it's going to catch on fire and burn our house down. Um, but, you know, I didn't have anywhere else to light this tonight, so that's sort of how I did it instead. So we've got that up and going, and now we're going to go ahead and build the roof a little bit more. Sorry for the performance in the first half of the video. I was trying out a new mod to see if that would work for the pack, and it didn't go very well. It very much did not work, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of inventory management here. I will see you guys in a minute. Oh shit. oh shit. Uh that didn't happen. Oh 
All right, everybody, we are back. The fire pit has finished. We had a little bit of uh, firefighting troubles in the night, and I got jumped by some skeletons while trying to get some more thatch, so I'm on low health. But uh, now that that's done, we can actually go ahead and start taking this stuff out. So with the clay vessel, um, this is what the inventory looks like. What we're going to do is we're going to put our copper in it. So that's one ingot, and we want two ingots. So we're going to go ahead and put that much in. That's all we're going to melt down. Um, actually, no, nah, that, that, that'll be good for now. So we're going to go ahead and put that back, and then we're going to grab everything else. So we can just store these over here, and with our water jug, it's obviously empty, so there's not, we're not going to be doing much with that. Um, right now, we can make one more mold. So I say, how about we make some of these? These will be used to make ingots later on, and I don't have enough... Um, clay to make anything else and I can't really leave the house because as you can hear it's being guarded so I'm just gonna go ahead and start this fire pit and we'll throw on some logs and then we will grab another torch and we will toss that on there and it will light up for us there we go all right I will see you guys when that is done Awesome, there we go everybody. The fire pit is done. That means we've got our metal and over here we have our mold. So if we just open this bad boy up, we've got 200 units of copper. So what I'm going to get first is I'm going to grab the saw. This thing's going to be our best friend. It's going to let us cut up all this wood we got and build ourselves a house. And then our first pickaxe. Now, I'm sure you guys noticed, you can't really make a stone pickaxe in this. So this is pretty big. This means that we can finally start mining stone and you know, we could build a basement in our new house if we wanted to. But I don't think we will, not for now anyway. So let's go ahead and put this saw to good use right away. We're gonna make some lumber with it. In fact, we'll just make a whole stack. Uh, okay, that was a lot more than I thought it was, but that's fine. So the, one of the cool things about TFC is when you finally craft the crafting table, uh, we gotta get rid of those, it just opens up your regular crafting square. It's awesome, right? So now that we've got that, we can make some chests. We're gonna go making, we're gonna make four white cedar chests and we're gonna throw them down in these two corners here. And we are gonna load these bad boys up because we have got full inventory. First, let's throw in our seeds. Then let's throw in our saplings, and we'll throw our straw over here. The zombie brains can get, uh, you know, get away from us. I don't care about them. They're lame. Bye. Uh, and we can start putting other stuff. So I would say we would make this our ores chest. This will be, you know, sort of ores we're not really using. This will be, you know, high value. We've got our copper ore here. We've got some extra rocks, a little bit of clay. And um, these bones are actually pretty useful. We can use those as tool rods for stone tools. So we won't have to use up our sticks. And those are a little harder to get in this. So I don't, I guess I don't really want to use them up. We're gonna go ahead and craft all this flax fiber down into wool yarn. That's almost enough for one cloth. And we'll throw that in our chest as well. Um, there we go, I think that's sorted out now. So I'm gonna do something stupid and risky now. Uh, Probably not the best idea. I really need water. I feel like I'm gonna die without water tonight. So I am going to make a straight shot out the front door for the water source. Um, oh no. All right, run. Oh, it's really dark. Oh, it's really dark. I regret everything. Oh no, stay away. We're not doing that again. Uh, <laughs> we're going to just go ahead and wait out tonight. On the bright side, we did get water though, so I will see you guys in the morning. 
All right, it looks like the sun is finally rising. That was a long night just waiting and trying, you know, not to die. I might have shown you guys a bit of me running out to try and get water. That was a terrible idea. It was pitch black and uh, I almost died. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and run around and relight these extinguished torches. I don't know if you guys have seen this feature yet in Terra Firma, but um, basically you can't get permanent light right away. They've taken that out. Um, and that's just a vanilla terra firma feature. I say vanilla terra firma. That's just regular terra firma in action. Um, so you gotta go around and relight your torches in your compound so uh, monsters don't spawn. But now that we are actually able to see, what I wanted to do was go ahead and use our saw to finally put some doors on the house. So we can now dig up all this dirt and we can put down two awesome white cedar doors. There we go. Great. And now that it's daylight and we aren't getting destroyed by mobs again, we can go ahead and collect all of the thatch we wanted for the roof. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this for you guys. All right, everybody, there we go. We now have quite a bit of thatch. This, well, we have quite a bit of straw. This will turn into thatch, and then we should be able to finish off our roof. But before we do that, I actually wanted to go ahead and, what have we got here? We've got hickory, only hickory? Okay, um, I am quickly going to start knocking down these walls, because they're not very pretty, and I don't like them. <laughs> And we're going to go ahead and replace them with actual planks because these are a little less annoying. I'm sure you noticed earlier I accidentally right, cl right click on these every once in a while. And um, that's not too great while you're trying to mess around in your inventory or open, you know, open a GUI or whatever else. So we're going to just replace a bunch of this with planks. Now obviously we don't have enough planks to replace everything, but um, you know, a bit. We got a bit. I don't know how this looks. I mean, maybe people like it. I don't know. Um, gonna go ahead and just jump up on here. Ooh, sorry about that. See, that's exactly what I meant. I uh, accidentally opened the log pile. Oh yeah, I don't know if I let you guys know. You can walk through these blocks. Now, um, mobs can't pass through them. So it's not really a big issue. You can use this um, as your roof if you want to. And we don't have enough. That's awesome. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and make some... We're gonna make a knife real quick, and we're gonna use the bone handle because bone meal is very useful in this. We're gonna run around, collect a little more grass. See you in a minute. All right, everybody, I have a bit more thatch. We are back. I know the roof is high. Don't hate or is low. Don't hate me for that. We'll raise it in a few episodes. Just not right now. Um, right now, we are just trying to get the basic setup. Get ourselves a little house. And I think that's fine. Quickly, before nighttime falls, we are going to run and we're going to go get some more water because I feel like we're going to <laughs> gonna go thirsty again tonight if I'm not careful. Was that a bit of ore right there? Oh, we've got a copper vein real close to home. I'm going to leave the nuggets where they are. I'm just going to mark it. So tetrahedrite sample. And we'll set that to orange. And we will come back to that in a little bit. That'll probably be the focus of one of the next few episodes, actually. I'm not going to do it this episode because um, I think we're coming up on that minute mark, but I just want to get some more water in my belly and get back to the house. So, um, obviously we've got a little bit to go. We've got our metal tools. With, that's really big. That's a good first step in terra firma. We've got a little bit of metal in the backlog, and now we have an ore vein. So, next episode, I'm actually off camera. I'm probably going to go around chopping some wood. I will get some more chestnut. Um, we'll sort of start building up the house in the next episode. And I'll see you guys then. So, uh, you know, leave a comment. Uh, feel free to check out my tutorials. Um, I have a few on the channel. Uh, let me know if you guys want a tutorial for installing this pack and Sfax. Because it's pretty fun. Uh, we haven't really gotten to the meat of it yet, but I'm sure you guys will love it. So I will see you all next time, and have a nice day.